Hey besties, it's new McDonald's sauces day. I'm so excited. I thought we could have like a drive with me catch up kind of thing. I, yeah, I just feel like we need to have a proper catch up because I feel like I've done catch ups on my stories chatting on tiktok but nothing beats a proper youtube sit down catch up with my mackies so let's go now i am filming like a little mackie sauces thing for tiktok so the issue that i have is that i thought i had two tripods for my car which turns out I can't find the second one but i'm gonna set the camera up when i test the sauces somehow the angle just will probably be really bad just gone around to mcdonald's drive through and the new sauces are the mega hot sauce and the garlic mayo and honestly i think i genuinely manifested garlic mayo because i've been going on about mcdonald's having garlic mayo for literally years so to have garlic mayo honestly i really it's only for a limited time though like i really hope they actually keep it ah these nuggets are literally boiling okay i'm gonna try the garlic mayo oh my god i'm literally melting in this car as well right let's see if this is good garlic mayo because I literally love garlic mayo. That is so good. This was literally a combo I needed in my life. I literally love garlic mayo. I'm actually going to have to mentally prepare myself for the mega hot sauce. I don't know why I was excited about the mega hot sauce because I'm actually not. But no, I'm actually scared for this. Oh, it smells spicy. Okay, I'm not going to be dramatic. It's not spicy. To be fair, it's not as hot as I was thinking. It is still hot, but I don't actually think it's that spicy. Maybe I just didn't... Okay, my, my tongue is on fire. I, yeah, my tongue my tongue isn't okay right now, but I mean, it's not as spicy as I thought. I'm not even joking. My phone has fully just stopped working because it's so hot that it needed to cool down. And I literally am dripping in sweat. So I'm going to have to go home, cool down for a minute, and then come back out and film this video because I genuinely am melting. <laughs> Why is it so hot? Now I'm home, I'm absolutely fine. I was so flustered. I had to come back because my camera was overheating. My phone was overheating. I'm going to go back out in a bit. Maybe like, I'll leave it half an hour. So I'm not literally going home to go shit back out. <laughs> to be fair i need to return my gym trainers from the other day so i can do that on my next outing but oh my god it feels so good to be cool when it is sunny the next minute is absolutely chucking it down with rain the weather actually can't make its mind up but we're in the car we're finally gonna have a catch up and like i said i've done a question box on my story but there was quite a few questions that i also didn't answer so i just thought i could give you a whole life update recap i need to do this window because it's probably really loud i did actually end up vlogging like last friday and saturday so i'm actually just gonna include it in the end of this vlog i feel like i sometimes just deep it and i'm like Oh, I don't know if it's very good, so I don't want to edit it back. I think it'll be a cute little, like, couple day vlog. So after a little catch-up, I'm going to include that at the end of this video. Just because I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages, and you guys probably haven't really seen me vlog in ages. But to be honest, I have no idea what the footage is going to be like. So we're just going to roll with it. I'm going to go to Costa. I don't actually really fancy, like, a coffee. I think I might just get, like, a mango and passion fruit smoothie or something. Like, a couple of you actually asked me, were like, can you please do a YouTube video on your, like, your life after uni and stuff? And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go into, like, loads of detail, though, because I feel like we have spoken about it a lot. Like, I feel like quite a lot of you probably know what I'm up to. Recently, I haven't really had, like, a lot of motivation. And I was chatting to Evie yesterday, and she was like, I feel like you just need to give yourself some, like, time for, like, a rest and to just chill out. It's because I've been so excited to finish, and now I feel like this. I think it's making me feel even worse than what I probably would feel i think it's just scary isn't it like i've been so excited for socials to be my full-time job and now it is actually my full-time job like it is low-key a bit scary like exciting but it's so scary like i honestly thought it was gonna be sweet like, i thought it was gonna be fine excited which it completely is but i hope you guys know what i mean when it is just like daunting like real life starts now absolutely, absolutely melting i don't know how long my camera is gonna last by the way before it literally goes overheating i haven't been to costa in a while though so buzzing the drive through is closed brb wants to go and get my costa sorry if the lighting's really bad i literally can't sit in the sun but i'm so buzzing today's a day of trying new things i got the new costa bubble tea i didn't even know they were doing these this is the mango berry one Oh my god, the straw does not fit in the gap. What do I do? Not me just giving it a full on mix. So what are I actually doing? Oh my god, I just spilled it everywhere. Woo, I done it! Finally, let's try it. I literally made the biggest mountain out of that. That's delicious. Wow, I'm actually buzzing. That's so good. I definitely mix it all in though, because I just had like, the tea bit at the top and it wasn't very nice, but mixed in with the lemonade and the syrup. That's delicious. This is literally gonna be the perfect summer drink. Wow. Okay, back to actual life updates and chatting. I think today's the first day where I've actually probably like felt a bit more motivated, a bit more like me. I'm planning some really fun content over here and on TikTok. I think if I'm being realistic though, I think YouTube is probably gonna take me a little bit longer to get back into. Like I was actually like three videos a week is gonna be back to normal. 
YouTube is one of them ones that really takes me a bit of time to get back into the swing of it. But then I know that when I'm in the swing of it, it's going to be like insane. I literally can't wait. You will also see in the vlog clips after as well. I don't think I'm going to go into too much detail because I'm pretty sure I spoke about it in the vlog clips. But I'm now a gym girl. Loads of people ask me kind of like what I do at the gym, what I work out. I can't remember if I spoke about this in the vlog clips or not. So sorry if I'm repeating myself. But I'm basically doing, I done my first hit class the other day. I'm basically going to the gym to kind of work out here and there. But I'm going to mainly try and do classes because I feel like classes is where I like work out the most and the best. I'm not going to say too much about this because I saw it the other day about the evil eye. And <laughs> this is literally just me being ridiculous and manifesting and stuff. But I just like, it's kind of just made me think actually, do you know what? I'm just not going to say too much. But I had a really exciting meeting this morning. Camera decided to overheat already, which is great. I've had to open the window a bit. I had a really exciting meeting this morning which went really really well and it's just yeah really exciting and then quite a few of you asking about my plans on like moving away and like what I'm gonna do where I'm gonna live at home and I'm definitely gonna be living at home for at least like actually at my home for probably at least a year maybe even longer depending on because obviously I'm starting my brand and stuff like I genuinely don't think I'll be able to move out until after then because I'm just not going to be able to afford it and obviously I've spoke loads of my videos and you guys will know about me kind of wanting to do like move away apartment life and stuff like that I'm just gonna be real at the moment I've just been really loving it at home like with my best friend yeah like it's just weird like how things change and I think that's why I'm not gonna put pressure on myself and say this is what I'm gonna do this isn't what I'm gonna do because at the moment I just can't see that happening. I don't know why. As much as it would be so fun, like living at home and being around my best friends has just been so fun and I couldn't imagine not being with them. I'm just chilling to be honest. Like I can easily get to London. I say I can easily get to Manchester. Like I can easily get to Manchester. It is obviously just four hours, which is really long, but like it's not, that doesn't bother me. Do you know what I mean? Especially being at home as well, like I get to see Daisy a lot. Like me and Daisy go and get content together and always go for nice lunches and stuff. Like it's just been so fun. I've just been loving the whole dynamic. Like I didn't think I would love it, but I really have been. You go into any festivals. So I was meant to go into one festival, but I've decided not to go to that anymore. Um, just cause I haven't really been feeling like the festival vibe this year. And I usually go to Creamfields, which I was gonna go to with my friends, but I'm away when Creamfields is. So yeah, I'm just like, I don't really know. Like I love going to festivals. I feel like I've been going to festivals since I was 17 and I do love going, but I just like, I might go, to, I'm not saying I'm not gonna go to any this year. Like I might end up going to something like spontaneously, but at the moment I'm not, which is actually so weird. Cause when I always go to festival. What are your holiday plans, guys? I honestly feel so unbelievably grateful to be going on holiday as much as I am this year. Some years I would never even go on holiday. So to be able to go on holiday this much is like, I just feel so grateful. I'm going to Mumbai for Maybank holiday with Daisy, Grace and Eva, which I'm so excited about. And then I come back for about a week when I get back from Marbella, maybe not even a week. And then I go on holiday with my whole family for a week, which I'm really excited about. We're just going to Spain, got a really nice hotel. It's like all inclusive vibe. You can catch me with my strawberry daiquiris, where Shannon, she's at the cocktail park, getting a cocktail. That like, is just gonna be a really fun, like chill holiday. And then I'm going to Ibiza with Tubi's hand at the end of the month, which is my first ever proper brand trip, which I'm so excited about. Like I literally can't wait. And then I come back from Ibiza with Tubi Tan. And then me, Courtney and Caro, who are my best friends from home, we're going to Tenerife for a week. So if you're looking for holiday, outfit inspo and holiday content in general we're not going to be shy but over here and definitely on tiktok i'm going to be doing so many and even on instagram like i'm really excited for all the holiday content obviously been planning my marbella outfits and they are probably some of the best outfits i think ever like that i've ever worn on a holiday before don't mean to gas myself up but you know we're just really excited about the outfits that's my holiday to this year like i said i'm so grateful and just so excited to be able to go away there's gonna be some trips i'm gonna be vlogging some trips i'm not gonna be vlogging some trips i'm gonna be doing like i'll be doing pack with me's for each trip and like get ready with me's it just kind of depends on the trip of whether i'm gonna vlog or not honestly guys i'm literally melting in sweat i'm not even joking i was literally dripping in sweat i don't even know if you can see my forehead like all of my makeup's come off my forehead I've had to relocate at home because I genuinely thought I was gonna pass out. I'm going back to uni on Saturday and me and my friends are basically doing like a freshers week, like finishing uni kind of thing, which is really exciting just to be able to like go out because obviously all the girls hadn't handed in yet. So I've come home to then go back to go basically party, which I'm actually, I'm so excited about, but you know, like partying every single day. I'm like, it's the last time I'm ever going to be living with a uni girl. So it's going to be so fun to just have, kind of have that final week together. I need to debrief you guys about uni as well. And I've had loads of you ask for like uni advice and stuff. So I just, I need to give a full debrief of what happened in my life. 
So obviously my business plan was due. Business plan is basically the equivalent to a dissertation. They're the same thing, the same percentage, like same work. It's just a different kind of route. Um, so that's why I say dissertation quite a lot because it's just easier for people to understand in the equivalence of how much work it is. Left it quite last minute. I did also have some other things going on which really didn't help with that. So I applied for an extension, but they came back and said they needed X, Y, Z, like more documents and stuff. And I really didn't want an extension. So I really tried my absolute hardest to get it done. Basically, I didn't want the extension for one. In case for whatever reason they didn't approve my extension, then I would have really fucked myself. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Cause I was like, I can, I've done it before. I can do it again. I'd done a full all nighter literally was like finishing touches it was handing was at two and i was still going at half one just kind of like finishing everything off my laptop crashed and one of the documents i was doing did not save and it, my laptop literally was like non-responsive like good 20 minutes half an hour until after the deadline and when i tell you that was the worst day by the way this is completely my own fault other than the other stuff i had going on this is genuinely my own fault but this is just because i work better under pressure and i work better last minute really underestimated it so one bit of advice that i would give any uni student is even if you work last minute just try your absolute hardest to do the work as soon as it's given to you because you can get so much more help from your tutor like i was doing bits and i was like my tutor easily could have helped me with that and i'm like why have i left that till such last minute i was an absolute mess when I tell you like hysterically crying basically have a week after your deadline to still like appeal your extension apply for extension whatever it is so I just was like hoping for the documents and hoping that they approved it and luckily they did and I got the extension so it's all good now I'm not even joking you I was in hysterical crying for hours like literally hours like after the deadline I was still hysterically sobbing like typing away the relief of it all being submitted though is just so good like I'm just so happy that it's now all done genuinely my main advice advice would be to do your freaking work on time or just to try and keep up with it as much as possible also still enjoy yourself like especially in your final year like this is your last year you're probably gonna be living with your friends if you live with your friends at uni like try and make the most of it as much as possible the way i'm literally telling you advice which i already knew myself and didn't take it i just think enjoy the journey everything happens for a reason that's what i keep on telling myself and that's all the life updates i have for you apart from the fact i'm waiting for my car but that's not meant to be due in for at least another month and a half maybe two months i don't really know how long these things take I miss you all so much over here let me know if there's any videos you want to see i've actually missed filming so much like even talking to you guys right now i'm like oh i love it let's cut into the vlog clips i'm pretty sure it's going to be a two-day vlog kind of vibe good morning oh my god i'm literally so excited to be vlogging it feels like it's been so long i think it's currently like quarter past eight i really should have been up earlier i was actually up earlier i just can't like mentally get myself out of bed. I literally just scroll on TikTok. It's 20 past eight and I need to leave at 10. So I need to get myself ready. I'm going into Cambridge today. Me and Daisy are going shopping, getting some content, I'm going out tonight. I'm all ready to go. I can't lie. It is absolutely chucking it down outside. It genuinely looks like a winter's, like a cold winter's day out there. I think me and Daisy are just gonna go shopping first and then hope it stops. The outfit of the day is from PLT. I'm impressed with this little like yoga vibe set. Like look at the bottoms of the matching top, it fits so nice and i've just got this little jacket on over the top so i'm with daisy we're in h&m it's currently chucking it down with rain and my legs are so tense like i could barely walk down the stairs just then i thought yesterday was bad but today's worse come to h&m for your shorts i quite like how they go out a bit they are very like the cute Elfara dupe <laughs> dupe dupe this one with these shorts that'd be so cute i really like that jacket it looks really oversized perfect match Cute. Cute. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I really love this bag. Like, really love this bag. You're coming home with me. Just trying on the shorts in H&M. I feel like they're cute, but I'm just not like completely sold on them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, nice though, but I feel like I prefer my Zara ones. Oh, I don't know. I'm not actually been a bit of a semi-success. Daisy's loving this. I really love that skirt. Going very floral. She's going floral. Who is she with all the prints? Really love this, but they have no sizes in the bottom. They literally have no sizes. <laughs> <laughs> that orange is cute. Love the orange. I don't have a small in the bottoms. That's annoying. I hid my line. <laughs> wow, you look unreal. <laughs> I've realised I haven't really vlogged that much because I've been just wandering around. There hasn't been like that good stuff. Like some of the stuff's been good, but some of it's not been good. Like this hat. This hat's 10 out of 10. Okay, I feel like you've had a really successful shop. Can look you at, you've feet? actually got some really cute bits. Look guys, I'm Primark are doing sure. these and they can like style them in loads of different ways and they have loads of different ones. Yeah, oh, I love it. has got purple on it. I think that's cool. Mm. <laughs> I feel like you need to take one out and wrap it around you and see what it looks like. See, I think that's really cute. You can't even see the purple, you've covered the purple. I love that. 
Look in the mirror. Don't know where the mirror is. <laughs> I looked over there. Oh, it's there. Come back to our favourite lunch spot. This time we've got a little mozzarella and tomato panini, and then of course the iced coffee. And this looks mm. delicious. Okay, a nice 20 minute walk in the rain. Look at my Primark bag. Me and Daisy literally just got absolutely drenched. But I'm gonna go and get changed. My Primark bag is literally so done. I don't even know if you can see that. But we're gonna get changed and then get another outfit pick. But we're gonna get it inside. I am home. Honestly, the weather is all over the place. It's currently blue skies, but it was literally chucking it down a minute ago. This top from Zara the other day is so cute. I feel like on holiday and just in summer in general, it'd be so nice. My hair has completely like dropped out. It's like a full on frizzball mess, but let's do a Primark haul. By the way, look at my Primark bag. Honestly, has been completely and utterly destroyed by the rain, which is brilliant. First up, I picked this like green and gold bikini up. I'm obsessed with this. The only thing is that the pants are really big at the back. I'm hoping they don't look ridiculous on, but how nice is this for Primark? I'm so impressed. Literally, by the way, everything I liked in Primark today, I genuinely just didn't have my size and then I'm so buzzing about these I've never bought Primark heels before and they've got such nice ones in at the minute and these I thought were so nice they're like a gold heel and they're actually like a decent size heel in terms of not too big not too small these are perfect like how nice are they and finally I saw Sophia Ritchie in flip-flops like this random I know and then I saw these in Primark in knots and then I saw them on her Instagram and I was like probably obviously not the Primark ones but they're like square front flip-flops and i just thought on holiday it's so ideal to slip on and that is everything i got so i haven't even like properly chatted to you guys because i'm just like uploading this video and if you don't follow me on my other socials then you probably won't even know what's going on with my life finished uni woo it's honestly the weirdest feeling finishing like i just wasn't expecting it like even now it's like oh my god like it hasn't fully hit in like you do your three years of life like you know you're going to be going back the year after i submitted on a random tuesday and then i was done and that was it that was uni done it's just mad i'm so happy to have finished though it is so sad though like at the same time like, if i'm being realistic i can't really show you my room but i haven't really got my life in order yet like my room is not organized my room's still a mess i still feel like a little bit all over the place like I can't wait to be able to just get myself into a routine of being at home. But I'm a gym girl now. Oh my God, I haven't told you that. I'm a gym girl. Now I'm gonna be doing socials full time and like working from home all the time. I really wanted to have like something that just gives me a little bit of routine, gets me out of the house because otherwise I literally will be like, just living in my room and it will just be so good to like get out of the house do something the girl's going out tonight so i'm literally chilling i don't know what i'm gonna wear tonight no idea i was literally oh my god i literally can't walk as soon as i sit down for like a long period of time like my legs are ceased <laughs> no, this is actually like hilarious um i was like gonna get some food or like get a drink and stuff then i was just been on facetime with eva for literally like an hour <laughs> Um, but I really want a cake. And we need days to go to that cafe early. We love that cafe in Cambridge. They do like really nice like cakes and pastries and stuff. And I like could it not get this like red velvet cake that's squished. But look at that, it's literally huge. Like this could be a mistake because I could really want this when I get in later because I'm sharing half of it with my mum. I think I want my half now. Oh my God, guys, look at that. That looks delicious. I honestly thought I was going to drop that there. Can't lie though, I am such a microwave girl. Like I have to, like all of my desserts, I love it when they're warm. I need to decide on an outfit because it's literally me and the girls are going out in an hour. Let's do a taste test and see if this tastes as good as it looks. Oh my God. That is literally insane. No, it's so good. Before I go out, I'm going to top up these curls. I've been using the Lula Bells 12 in 1 Hot Girl Spritz because I'm a hot girl. Jokes. I've been using this to curl my hair recently. It's the GHD Rise. It does take a little bit of getting used to and it is sometimes like a little bit temperamental just because I have extensions. So like sometimes like when I do my front bits, it's fine. Look at this. It's so good. I literally love the curls that it does. Like properly curls your front bits. So nice. Just quickly topped up my hair and then I think for my outfit, I'm going to wear some grey suit trousers and then my Zara like denim crop trench. This is my outfit of the evening. It's actually all completely Zara. I've got the Zara denim crop trench. Top is also Zara. I really love this top. It's like $7.99 and it's such nice quality. Like it's not see-through at all. And then got Zara trousers on, my Dior's, and then I put on again Zara perfume, the Zara Rose Gourmand. We have arrived in Spoons. Look at us crammed around this tiny <laughs> table. <laughs> No, we honestly, it was yeah. the first voice that she was like, girls, I'm so not about. And then like, 
like five minutes later, she was like, well, like, I could. <laughs> Hi, my name is Courtney. Right, we're at our second, second bottle of wine, and I, yeah, this is Courtney, this is her, her drink. I feel kind of drunk. Yeah, I feel kind of drunk. Honestly, girls, I might have to do a tactical after this. Seriously. This is a grand foyer. This is so embarrassing. We're going to do a TikTok. You know the one that's like, this is my house. None of you this is going to be invited here. And we're literally going to start it. Not single part of Did you know that you're not allowed to um, film in Spoons? Spoons, mate. We were like starting the filming outside. It's really good, actually. Can we watch my TikTok? And we came, like, we were filming it through the front door, and he was like, you can't film in here. And then he got someone, we went into the toilets. He got someone to come in the toilets to check that we weren't filming. Since when were you not allowed to feel like on my phone in spoons? I'm feeling really drunk by the way. What are you watching? Karis likes these um, ASMR videos. Mate, have you done it's all very ASMR? Put, like laundry powder on it. It's have you done it. No, it's scary. Her like, corny's ASMR is like a woman. Like people whispering to her, I hope you're okay. <laughs> Love it. Sleep well. Do you well. <laughs> <laughs> me. ASMR bugs. <laughs> it's her talking. Oh, no, it's her saying slow or fast bugs. <laughs> Actually, agree with me as well about ASMR bugs. I don't think anyone's agreeing with you about ASMR bugs. Right, right. So when no one's, is anyone agreeing with ASMR bugs? And there's wasps flying over her deck. <laughs> Here is Karis's finest loaded, loaded fries with a um, slab of bacon. Got a um, pizza, which is actually kind of down. Can't wait to have some. We're down it, but these guys aren't going to down it. So I've got are you nice. taking? You are joking. You are going to down it? I can down it. We can down it, but we need to. Let me just get on the floor. Maybe we don't know. It's intense. Why? It's like vinegar. Yeah, maybe we don't down the drink. I mean, we tried, but I didn't, we didn't mind. And I'm so hungover. I've literally just like pulled myself out of bed and it's 12 o'clock. Like that's really bad. I try and get myself like feeling a little bit fresh and head to the gym. I so could have not gone to the gym today, but I feel like I'm just going to push myself into going and getting into a routine because at the moment I couldn't think of anything worse than going to the gym. But I'm just going to fail. I'm just going to do it. It's literally a Saturday. The gym that I go to is kind of like bougie. Like it is expensive because I live in such a small town. Like all the gyms like where I live are all so expensive and they're not even like that good so i was like i'd rather pay like a little bit more it's not even that much more it's just a little bit more to like drive 15 minutes and go to a really paying gym be able to use the pool not that i can swim <laughs> yeah the pool's great well done i can't swim so the pool's brilliant well no i can swim but i hate swimming do you know what it is i hate the chlorine so i don't really know why i've put that as a selling point but you can like go to the sauna the steam room and then they also do like classes and stuff so i'm gonna book on to some classes as well and do like legs ones and thumbs here also order three new pairs of gym trainers so let me just get myself sorted and then we can decide on which ones we're gonna keep i'm just gonna run the refi brow tint for my brows because this is actually like my favorite brow product probably one of my favorite makeup products at the moment i literally put this on every single day and it's just so good look at the difference between the brows it literally just like shapes your brows and adds like a little bit more like color to them That's all i'm gonna put on my face because realistically i don't care and also i don't want to be breaking out so i've just put some moisturizer on and then put that brow tip for my brow. My room is a literal mess, so I'm doing my haul in the hallway. Literally like three shoe boxes in here, and I feel like if I do this in my room, it's gonna be carnage. I've got some more gym wear because I somehow managed to lose both of my sports bras. So I don't know how I've done that, but I've got these really sick hot pink like gym cycle shorts. How unreal are these? I've got two black sports bras. So I think one was on the sale, which I preferred, but it was in an extra small, but then I don't know whether I'm a small or extra small. So I got like two different sizes. The small, I don't know if that's kind of big. Right, this is the small sports bra. I actually really love that. This is the extra small one I got. To be fair, I really love both. Do you know what? If they both fit fine, then I'll probably just keep both. Shoe time. I'm so excited. Oh, these are sick. These are the most expensive ones. Not usually a colourful girl, so I don't know why I've gone for like colourful trainers. I thought they were going to be more chunky than this. Next ones, they're all Nike, by the way. I don't think I like these. I just wanted to get some plain black ones just in case I wasn't vibing with like the coloured ones. These do not look like they did online. What do we think? I feel like I'm going to have to get my gym outfit on and then try them all on. Like try these ones and the other ones on. But they don't look like what they did online, but I mean, they probably do. <laughs> Extra small sports bra fits perfectly. Woo, I need to get a protein yogurt because I don't really have anything else to eat before I go to the gym, so I'm just gonna eat that. And I've gone for the gym trainers, which I probably like like the least, but they're actually so sick. I don't know, like now I've got them on. <laughs> I can't do it. I literally am still aching from the gym the other day. These ones, 
I'll probably show you like, in a minute. I'm gonna have this strawberry protein yogurt. I'm going to the gym. I'm not gonna take my camera with me, but I'm gonna vlog some bits on my phone. I don't really know what. I've just arrived at the gym and I'll show you my gym trainers finally. I went for the ones that I didn't even like, the ones I opened last, but how sick are they? I actually think they're so cool. It's my little gym fit. It's all, this is Nike, this is Nike, and then the jacket is Boohoo. I've done eight and a half minutes in the step bar and I couldn't do it anymore, so I'm now on. I'm back from the gym, honestly. The gym workout has really locked me out. Like I've been like trying to like tidy my room and stuff since I've been back. I just felt so, so tired, but I'm gonna get ready now because I'm going out for dinner with my mum, my nan and my granddad, which is fine. I literally gonna love going out for dinner. Like we're going for like a pub food vibe and I'm just showing my hair getting kind of long i think i'm just gonna do like natural hair straight vibes tonight i'm all ready to go out i don't really like my outfit to be honest i kind of just whip this up so i've got zara top on zara bottoms and this blazer i don't really know if it all goes i don't think it does <laughs> oh my god i literally don't have time to change it so i'm just literally gonna roll with it we'll hear from the clip before the vlog clips because i definitely didn't do an outro um thank you all so much for watching i really hope you all did enjoy if you did then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next video